prisonplanet.tv. We fight the construction of the prison planet with the info war. Let me read you the headlines that are coming up at infowars.com. Fake conservatives terrified Cantor loss will embolden Rand Paul, Ted Cruz. Obama endorses Australian style gun confiscation with video. This is red level, folks. It doesn't get any more ominous. Tea Party candidate topples House Majority Leader Eric Cantor. Another article on that by Kurt Nemo. Iraq would not have an Al-Qaeda problem if the state allowed citizens to be armed. And I would add if the state didn't go along with the West that put Al-Qaeda there to begin with. White House, Obama prepared to act unilaterally Again, using executive authority on guns and says the model is Australia. Red level, that's gun confiscation. Illegal immigrants intentionally surrendering to Border Patrol to gain entry into the U.S., Border Patrol says. Russia is doing it. Russia is actually abandoning the dollar. This is the purposeful destruction of our republic. The demoralization of the Border Patrol, the demoralization of the FBI, the demoralization of the CIA, the demoralization of the entire Americana, the demoralization of the role of men, of the role of women. When you study an enemy, they want to demoralize you. Look at what the globalists do. It is classic attack. And then we have all their memos and manuals on record saying their enemy is the family. Their enemy is good institutions. Their enemy is honor. Their enemy is due process. Their enemy is free market. A group of hedge fund owners and mega bankers like George Soros sworn to run our lives. And I want to be clear, I'm not saying George Soros is even a Nazi. He's beyond that. The Nazis had their ideology and were very wicked, but committed. He is a traitor to everyone. He's a mental patient who has a high IQ who just sees everyone to be used, and that's how he wins. A total sociopath who has a psychopathic icing on top, a hatred for America, a hatred for freedom. It was the Serbs that saved Madeleine Albright and her father when they bombed their country with DU and put Al-Qaeda in charge of a third of their nation. I'm not glorifying the Serbs. It was a war. They did some bad things, but the UN admits double the number of Serbs died in that decade-long NATO-run destabilization program that ended with the bombing of Belgrade. The UN admits double the Serbs were killed by the Croats and by the Muslims. I mean, they've been killing each other since the Crusades, folks. Old Crusade beefs. And our criminal government under Bill Clinton went and bombed them. And, and, and the leader, Slobodan Milosevic, who ended up getting killed in a UN prison before he could have a trial, came out and said, why are you doing this, Madeleine Albright? We saved you, you and your family from the Nazis. And the Nazis invaded that area and killed hundreds of thousands. And they couldn't beat the Serbs completely. Forced in from Navarone's a fictional movie, but it's based on stuff that really went on in Serbia. I mean, that's what I mean. These people have no honor. They have no fealty. They don't even have a gang mentality. They're, they're worse than that. They have, they have nothing. They have nothing. This is who's going to run our society? People that want to wreck everything so they can rule it? <sighs> Headline, Obama endorses Australian-style gun confiscation. President ignores dropping gun crime, applauds Australian gun confiscation. And we've got the graphs and more. We're going to add some more graphs in the article. It's just going viral. Uh, the FBI's own crime statistics 52% drop in gun-related crime since 1992 through 2011. They released the numbers in 2013. <clears throat> and boy, did they shit on them. They sat on them for over a year when they already had them. Everybody knows that carjacking stopped in Dallas when they passed concealed carry within one year. Carjacking's were happening every day. Everybody knows carjacking stopped in Austin that we're going on here every week. Now they happen maybe once a year when the concealed carry went in. Everybody knows they stopped in Florida and the muggings of women jogging stopped when there were a few cases of women shooting criminals with 25s or 22s they had in their fanny packs. Criminals are cowards. They want you disarmed. And Obama is a criminal. The globalists are criminals. They've disarmed everybody else but the Swiss and us. <clears throat> and they're coming, ladies and gentlemen.
You know, the person at Walmart that died, you never hear why they shot some random person at Walmart, the supposed Joker shooter. Who looks like he's totally under mind control in the new video that we found online of him as the Joker. That's up on Infowars.com. It turns out it was a concealed carry person that began shooting at them and probably shot them. It, you know, the, the narrative of them shooting themselves, who knows if that's true because the message to police is you will not talk about what really happened. The person that died was a CHL person that started firing on them. Bare minimum until the police could get there and they weren't able to go on their killing spree to kill more people, if you believe the official story. But see how they control it? It's buried in the local paper and in the police reports that it was a CHL person that started firing on them when they began firing. A hero emerges from the horror of the Las Vegas shooting. GunsaveLives.com. The actions of this carrier may have allowed other shoppers to escape the armed, the area unharmed. And that's what the police have said. That's a police quote. How much you want to bet that this person winged them so they threw a fit and then ended up shooting themselves even if they really were the shooters? And again, if you have people that stage fast and furious, blame the Second Amendment, CBS News, they would stage this. So if you've done it before, I mean, if somebody's your next-door neighbor and they're a three-time convicted rapist that just got out of jail for 25 years and then somebody gets raped the next day after they move in and, and the guy doing the raping was wearing a mask, who's the suspect? You know, if you say to your neighbor, your other neighbor, hey, I think that new guy might have been who raped Sally down the street. We ought to call the cops and, and you know, uh, have they questioned him? Your neighbor would say, yeah, you're right. We should call the police. Oh, but I come out and say, people that have been caught staging stuff before might be involved in this. Oh, my gosh. Alex Jones is unbowed. That's what MSNBC said. You know what? I am unbowed. That means undefeated. I don't care what you lecturing ninny, nanny state fascist posing as liberals sit up there in your little, your little studios with no audience. The only reason you're important is because you're reading White House talking points on record. So I take it serious. This is directly from the White House. And you notice Obama's going with the gun grab now off these shootings. You got a Democrat shooting people on Facebook. Liking the Democrats, liking MSNBC, liking the Young Turks. I don't blame them for the murders uh, uh, of, of the spoiled brat Hunger Games guy, even if that was real. We don't know. Might have been. Fits the M.O. Devil worshipping Pib. Spoiled rotten Pib. And I'm not knocking other people that dress black. I wear black all the time. I like black. The point is, it's a certain subtype. We're going to get to our guest here in a moment who's going to be with us right up to the next hour, and I appreciate him being on hold before I go any further, though, I want to play this clip of Obama. I mean, this is such a big deal, ladies and gentlemen. And this is happening because they know the Tea Party is about to totally take over the entire Republican Party. Rand Paul, Ted Cruz could easily get elected president. And it's over. We will be able to right the country, fix it, get us back on a good financial course, cut taxes, get out of debt. We could save the country. And a lot of the elite aren't totally evil. They don't want to wreck the country. There are a lot of boss hogs and people that are corrupt, but they're not evil. They're not, they're not wanting to wreck things. It's the psychopathic globalists that hate America and hate our strength and hate Texas particularly. They admit that. They hate this state so much. It's an archetype. They want to destroy a symbol of male honor, of chivalry, of not being afraid. That's why they say they're going to take down Texas. That's the main Democratic goal. Because it's Texas that continues to oppose them. I mean, this is, this, is, this is like living in a movie, folks. But it's real. House Majority Leader Cantor defeated in primary. In an upset, the Majority Leader, who works with Obama, has been soundly defeated by an unknown economics professor, David Bratt. It's... And again, in every case, 90 plus percent, the incumbent Republicans are gone, 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 gone. Go play golf, you smug corporate lawyers that think you can BS your way out of this anymore. We're going to elect doctors and engineers and veterans and patriots and, 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 and preachers to office. It's over. The restoration's coming. They may 
overturn the chessboard, start a civil war, you're going to lose that too. Don't take our kindness and our reserve as weakness. We're doing everything we can to not let you have your civil war. Now, you know thousands of articles a day saying I'm behind the shooting in Las Vegas, that I need to be shut down, that I need to be investigated, that I need to be looked at, that I'm to blame. MSNBC, CNN, all of it, okay? They're coming after me, state-run media, because they can take Alex Jones down, Drudge is next, World Net Daily is next, and then everybody else. And then the free speech, and then your bank account. Telly uh, Blackwood, Telly Blackwood, I'm always saying Kelly Blackwood, I've interviewed him many times.